Hey everybody, um, this lesson is going to be how to write a quadratic equation given its solutions. Normally we have a quadratic equation and we solve it to find its solutions. Now we're going to work backwards. We're going to start with the solutions and we're going to work backwards to, to find out what the equation is. So, here we go. What, write a quadratic equation that has solutions of 4 and negative 5. Alright, so let's, before we do this, let's do an, another example. Let's work one forward with a different set of numbers. If I gave you x minus 2 times x plus 6 equals 0, how would you solve that? Well, you would say either x minus 2 equals 0, and then you solve for x, which means you add 2 to both sides, and you get x equals 2. And x plus 6 equals 0, which means if you solve for x, you subtract 6 from each side. So you have x equals negative 6. So that's working that direction. That's working from the answer, from the problem to the answer. But we want to work backwards from that. So let's see what that's going to look like. Okay? And you have your 2 for your answer. And if you work backwards, you wind up with minus 2, x minus 2. And if you have minus 6, you work backwards, you had x plus 6. And this is the easiest one. This has no other numbers in it to have to divide or multiply or whatever. Okay? So let's get rid of this. And let's talk about this problem that we're dealing with right here, where we have 4 and negative 5. Okay, so if x equals 4, that's where we're starting. We're starting with what we, what we know, which would be the ending of solving a quadratic equation. So if x equals 4, we know that we have to set everything equal to 0. So in, start, in, in order to set it equal to 0, we have to subtract 4 from both sides. So I'll have x minus 4 equals 0. And that's my factor, now that it's equal to 0. And x uh, equals minus 5. Well, if I add 5 to both sides, because I, I want to set this equation equal to 0 again, I'll have x plus 5 equals 0. So my two factors now are x minus 4 times x plus 5 equals 0. And if I multiply this out, first is x squared, outside is plus 5x, inside is minus 4x, and last is minus 20 equals 0. And if we put together our middle terms of 5x minus 4x, we have x squared plus x minus 20 equals 0. So we started with the answer, and we wound up with the equation. All right, let's try another one. Write the quadratic equation whose solutions are negative 3 and negative 7. Okay, so once again, if x equals negative 3, I want to set this equal to 0. So in order to do that, I have to move the negative 3 over by the x, which means adding 3 to both sides. I'll have x plus 3 equals 0. And the other one, if x equals negative 7, then I'm going to move that negative 7 over and make it x plus 7 equals 0. So now I have my two factors. I went from my solutions to my factors. So I'll have x plus 3 times x plus 7 equals 0, or x squared plus 7x plus 3x plus 21, first outside, inside, last equals 0. Put my 7x and 3x together, I have x squared plus 10x plus 21 equals 0. And that is my equation, starting with my solutions and working backwards to what the equation is. Okay, so stop now and do your checkpoint number two. Pause this, and do your checkpoint number two, and then come back. Okay, uh-oh, now we're going to deal with fractions. Everybody loves fractions. So what if we have 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 equals 0? If you had that and you wanted to solve that, what would you do? Well, you do the same thing we always do. 2x plus 5 equals 0. And we say, okay, so we have to subtract 5 from both sides. So we have 2x equals negative 5. And then we have to divide by 2, so we have x equals negative 5 over 2. So that's one of our solutions. The next one is 3x minus 2 equals 0. So we have to add 2 to both sides, 3x equals 2. And now divide by 3, so we have x equals 2 thirds. There's our second solution. What if 
we wanted to go the opposite direction. And I want to work one backwards for you so that you can see that we will come right back to our original um, equation, our original factors. So let's take a look at this. This, what we just did was we factored to get the solution. Now we want to find, have the solutions and we want to get to the factors. So we're basically going to just work backwards here. So let's see how we would do it. If x is negative 5 halves, I want to have x equals 0. So the first thing I have to do is multiply both sides by 2. So I'll have 2x equals minus 5. And then to get this uh, left-hand side to 0, or I'm sorry, right-hand side to 0, I have to add 5. So 2x plus 5 equals 0. And there's my first factor. My second factor is going to be if x equals 2 thirds, I have to multiply both sides by 3. So I'll have 3x equals 2 and then subtract 2 from both sides, so 3x minus 2 equals 0. So I have my second factor. And you can see that it's the same as what we had in the, at the very beginning. 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 equals 0. And then if we wanted to, which we didn't do originally, but if I wanted to go ahead and multiply that out, I'd have 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. Okay, so let's do another one like this. I want negative, the solutions are negative 3 over 4 and 4. So that means my first one is x is negative 3 over 4. I need to multiply both sides by 4 and then add 3. So I have 4x plus 3 equals 0. That is the factor that goes along with the solution. So there's 4x plus 3. My other one is x equals 4. Well, that's easy. That's going to be x minus 4 equals 0. And so that will be my factor. So I have x minus 4. Set that equal to 0. And now I'm going to uh, do the FOIL and multiply this out. So I'll have 4x squared first. Outside, minus 16x. Inside, 3x. Last, minus 12. Set it equal to 0. Now I'm going to put together my middle terms. 4x squared, and it's going to be minus 16x plus 3x gives me minus 13x. So there's my final answer. Starting with, starting with my solutions and winding up with my original equation. Okay, so do checkpoint number two, and you're done. See you in class.